Oh yeah, the St. Augustine Lighthouse, 141 years old, just a week ago. And of course, everyone knows it for being haunted. Some say the most haunted place in St. Augustine. Stay at the lighthouse and talk to ghosts. Seems like a good idea. Shannon, appreciate you letting us do this. Of course. We want to do a quick little tour here. I know people have heard about it, the ghosts out here at the lighthouse. Uh, and I know you guys do some ghost tours, right? Yes, Dark of the Moon tour. We do them on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. All right, so this is a little different because we are actually going to stay here. Yes. We're going to stay overnight here. Um, and we're going to talk to the ghosts. So take us through the place and okay. tell us who and what we're going to be talking to. Sure. Our keeper's house behind us is where the keepers and their families lived. It was a duplex. So on the north side, you had the head keeper and his family. So and the story goes that the, uh, the old lighthouse had a hand a rail cart down to the water to get supplies up to it. And unfortunately, one day, four little girls got into that cart um, and it rolled down to the ocean and uh, tipped over and trapped them underneath. And the workers ran down. They were able to get one of the little girls out, but the other three perished in that accident. And these are all like historical fact, like yes. records? Yes, absolute fact. We've got the newspaper articles, the whole city shut down. It was really a huge tragedy. All right, and so they've been seen around here, some of the reports, that, and what are their names? Uh, Mary and Eliza are the two Mary that Mary and Eliza. Died. Mary Adeline. Red. 